Today we answer the age-old question, what's the best type of Yu-Gi-Oh pack? Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another video and we are deciding today what the best type of Yu-Gi-Oh pack is. And you might be like, what does type of Yu-Gi-Oh pack mean? So what I mean is, the highest rarity card you could pull per pack. So we have four different groups in this video. First of all, we have the Ghost Rare group. So the highest rarity card in this set is a Ghost Rare. We have a few Legendary Duelists, Rage of Raw. We have Ghost from the Past, the Second Haunting. We have Ghost from the Past, the First Haunting. That wasn't the name, but the first one. And then a Legacy of the Valiant. So all of these, the highest rarity card you could pull is a Ghost Rare. So different times of packs, like some have Ultimate Rare, some don't, but they all could pull ghost rares. Our second contender is Starlight Pack. So these can pull Starlight Rares as the highest rarity card. So we have five Photon Shockwave, we have a Dimension Force, and then four Battles of Chaos. So all could potentially pull the Starlight Rare of whatever's in their specific set. There's also other cards like Secret Rares and stuff like that. But the high rarity card is the type of pack that we're talking about. Then we have the Collector Rare set. So Tactical Masters, we've been opening some of that recently. I have five of these, and then I have five Amazing Defenders, which the pearly stuff has actually gone up a little bit, which is nice, because this started off as a dud. Now it's heating up a little bit. And finally, we have the Secret Rare Pack. So the best set is Secret Rare. So look at that, Fist of the Gadgets right at the beginning. But don't worry, Hidden Summoner's not that great, but it gets better. We get the Breakers of Shadow, that's pretty cool. Mega Packs, those are pretty nice. Mega 10 2021, we got Legendary Collection 2, that's crazy. Dark Crisis, and then Pharaoh Servant. So a wide variety like for this one there's like some terrible sets there's some great sets there's some older sets newer sets we're gonna have a total for each of these four different scores we will see which one wins the battle but first we have a giveaway i'll be giving away these three cards you have an old school flame swordsman this is a reprint curse of dragon and then a speed duel dark magician girl just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know the best type of pack in this video and which one will win the battle all right so here are four stacks we're just gonna go one at a time three so we're gonna start off with fist of the gadgets it's a guaranteed secret rare in here not a lot of crazy cards in here, though. There is a couple that are worth like eight bucks, something like that. So that's really what we're aiming for. Both here with the Firefist Cardinal. We got De Defcon Bird and uh, a Ultimate Fire Formation Sinto Secret Rare. So the Secret Rare is pretty sure starting off with nothing. Next up, we have a Tactical Masters Pack. Will we be able to pull some Labyrinth stuff? I'm trying to put together the Labyrinth deck. I have most of it. I still need some of the cards from this set. We want to pull a couple more of the Lab Welcome Labyrinth, regular Welcome Labyrinth, and then the Ariana. So let's see if we can do it. Labyrinth Archfiend. Uh, and a Hojo, the Valence Warrior. That is a super rare, so nothing going for the Collector Rares. Let's go to the Starlight, see if they can pull something. Photon Hypernova has been great to us when we've opened it up, so I'm hoping that this will keep up the streak of that, and we'll pull something amazing. Castle Bowler, of course, the Cashier stuff's really big right now. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, iffy if people actually like it. I think for the most part, people hate it. <laughs> and then, but, uh, you know, but we're, it's still worth money, so we're just going to try and pull it. We have a Gold Pride Nitro Head, so we've got the Super Rare there for Gold Pride. Our first pack for Ghost Rage of Raw. Let's see if we can pull it. I'm hoping we can get something crazy today. If we could pull all the rarities, can you imagine that? How cool would that be? We have a Genzo right off the bat, a Genzo Jector holding arms, a White Orb... <laughs> Or, or a Bahamut, that's an ultra rare that is not guaranteed. It may or may not be a dollar though, so it might not even count toward the score, but hey, there's an ultra rare, that's not bad, we'll take it. Ghost Rares, first to strike. I mean, they struck, but I don't know if it actually counted or not, so maybe they did. They're so ghostly, it's almost like they weren't there. Next up, let's go to Hidden Summoners. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, this is a new, you know, it's kind of similar to our versus battles, but I tried to switch it up a little bit, have a few options, see if you guys like this. Prank Kids Rocket Ride, cool. The Prank Kids, that was a lot. That was all Prank Kids, except the first one. Okay, and... Ooh, the Tengu, the Wing Miyakishi. Some of these Miyakishi cards are actually worth a little bit, so this could actually be our first card over a dollar. So Secret Rare, Tengu, the Wing Miyakishi, pretty cool. I did play those one time in auction series, and they were really fun. I actually enjoyed them, so... Okay, maybe that's pretty good. Next, we're going to go to the Tactical Masters. Will we pull labyrinth or runic stuff it's all good stuff bear blocker we have pendulum fusion labyrinth kook lock all right some people were using this in their labyrinth decks we have the duelist alliance named after the set and runic destruction so there's some more runic stuff it's just the super rare but hey not bad we'll take it i do want to switch it up with the uh some of these so i'm gonna go to the starlight rare pie well i'm switching up not for starlights because that's the next one in the order but we're gonna go to battles of chaos here instead of the photon hypernova so we have the uh what is it shining friendship it's a new one shining Pisphilia. We got the top share. Ogdog Serpent Strike. That's a Ruxin special. Past the Ice Shade Erosion. Remember, we could pull the Dark Magician in these. It'd be crazy. Neroy. That'd be funny because it's not even a, you know, Starlight Rare. Uh, Kaiser the Hidden Star. And 
Oh, a Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. We'll take that. Secret Rare. It's not the Starlight Rare, but it is a Secret Rare. That's pretty cool. The Blue Eyes Jet Dragon is really, really nice. Really cool card. You'll love to see that. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. Really, really cool. Secret Rare. So... That's definitely worth money. You might wonder why that's worth money, and you guys know, it's it's collectors. I mean, if you're wondering, then you're probably not a regular viewer of this channel, because usually, you know, we're all collectors here. But yeah, that's that's mostly collector and blue eyes players. Halco Fibrax, RIP. It has been banned. It is no longer worth anything. Insector Hornet and Code Exporter. Okay, so Halco Fibrax used to be like a $2, $3 card, but then it got hit with the ban hammer, so it's no longer worth anything. Back to secret rares. We're gonna go through like the lower, the, the uh, or like, uh, man, what am I trying to say? The worst secret rares first. I'm struggling. Chirinui Samurai. Thunder Dragon, that's like a $3 card. Okay, secret rare is getting a nice super rare. Okay, that works. Circle of the Fire Kings, we got Fusion Recycling Plant, and Disciple of Nephthys. What's up? Is that like multiple sets that have had Nephthys cards? No, maybe it was hidden summoners every time. Okay, secret rare there. I don't know if that one's any good or not. Based on Nephthys, I'm going to say it's not. It's probably not too good. Amazing Defenders, we have not opened this since we did our opening. So let's see if we can get something. There's a reprint right there. Oh, Ruxin Special. Right to the Infer Noble Knight, Raynod. Not a bad card, but uh, we, we kind of killed the uh, suspense there. It's the Pearly Happiness. All right, so Amazing Defenders coming through with... A Ruxin special. You'd love to see it. Back to Photon Hypernova. Let's see if we can get some nice cash tier stuff. We have a nice variety here today, which is the fun part. I like opening variety of packs. It's more fun, you know. You're not like thinking of the exact cards you can get every time. You sometimes forget, oh, this is a new set. What can I actually get in here? Uh, the Gravity Ninja. We got Shell of Chaos and Veronic Advent. That's a super rare. Okay, it's a foil, but not too crazy. Next, let's open a Ghost from the Past 1 first edition. I mean, they're all first dead. There wasn't an unlimited wave of this, at least yet, so still really cool. Sunvine Shrine. We have the Galaxy Eye Cypher Blade Dragon. That used to be worth something, I think. Splash Mage Link. Metaphor Silvered and Sunvine Thrasher. So yeah, if you guys remember Ghost from the Past 1, other than like the big cards, they were pretty terrible the set was just pretty bad overall hidden summoners you're up next we have 40 packs to open today so this may or may not be i mean it's probably not gonna be too crazy we've been having like more like 15 to 20 minute videos recently which i think is like the sweet spot that you guys like you don't want them to be shorter than that because then it's like not enough but okay here we go nep this oh wow this one's nice the uh gasha <laughs> The Gashadokoro, the Skeletal Myakushi, I don't know, something like that. So a couple different Myakushis, I think those are actually usually over a dollar. We'll have to see. The score, I mean, it's already popped up by now, you've seen. But what I was saying is, I think you guys like videos. You don't like the videos that are under 50. I mean, it's not that you don't like them, but they're too short. Over 20 can get too long sometimes. So, oh, there's a super, I forgot to do the uh, pack trick on this one. The Nini, the Mirrored Myakushi, okay. Uh, Makenko, where did I get Miyakashi? Probably from the last one. Okay, so uh, Amazing Defenders still doing the same old amazing stuff, which is not great. Battles of Chaos, let's get back to that. Let's see if we can pull something good. One, two, three, four. Just give us a Dark Magician. I'd be down for that. Dynamorphia Diplos. We got Dynamorphia Alert. Flower Dino, Ogdoic Serpent Strike, Doll Monster Bear Bear, Rock Scales. That was a hollow for a second. Ghost Rick Shot. We have Dimensional Conjurer and Dark the Dark Charmer Gloomy. Actually a good super rare. So... Not a bad card. I don't think it's a dollar, but it's a great card. Back to Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw. Will we pull something big out of here? Will it be the Ghost Rare? There's also the Egyptian God Slime, which we pulled the other day. It's like 50 bucks, so that'd be a good one. Psychic Boundary, that is a Super Rare, and a Reactor Slime, so non-guaranteed Super. I'm not complaining about that, even though it's probably not money. Back to the Secret Rare pile with Breakers of Shadow. Will we get a Buster Blader card or something cool like that? First, the Dragon Buster Destruction Swords. I know it was a Buster Blader card. Sure, Nui Samurai. We just pulled this in the other one in Super Rare. Formal Pal Trump Girl. Draco Face Off. The uh, Super Every Samurai Magnet. Bad Luck Blast. Black Luster Soldier. Sacred Soldier. Okay. Ultra Rare. And then a Toon Buster Blader. That might actually be a dollar too. I don't think it is. I think it got a reprint, but we can check on it. All right. Back to the Masters of Tactics. What will we pull? I'm wondering what the score is. It's probably not too high, you know, so far. Nothing insane, but... Probably pretty close. Invader of Darkness, Cosmic Cyclone, Senate Switch, Lilith, Trap Trick, and Labyrinth Setup. Another Labyrinth card, but it's just a super rare. All right, the time has come for the Starlights to open up the Dimension Force Pack. We have one of these. It's probably the worst of the three sets, but we only had one of them. So we're going to open this one up in the middle, see if we can get something good. We have the Mazera Exclusion. I played that Mazera against that Mazera on Master Duel the other day. Therion Reaper, Mad Mauler. I played against that too. General Probe. We got Predaplant, Belisp, 
Theron Bowl, and the Curse of Dragon, the Magical Knight Dragon. Super rare. I'm sure that is a very valuable card. Curse of Dragon, baby. All right, last legendary at Duelist Rage Raw. Speaking of Master Duel, go check out my Twitch stream. We've been streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the rest of the year. I'm locked in, so go check it out. Um, usually on 1 to 2 p.m. Central is when we start streaming. Left arm offering a couple hours after I drop this video. Mechlord Army of Wazel, Mechlord Army Deployer Obligato, and Chaos Channeling. Okay, so that's not a guaranteed super, but I know it's not a dollar. Back to secrets, 2018 Mega 10. This not only has secrets, but it has ultras, it has supers, it has rares, it has it all. Let's go. I don't remember what 2018 really was, though. Phantom Knights and though, something. FA City, Flame Administrator. Burning Bamboo Sword, not the bamboo stuff, please. F.A. Sonic Meister, Alter Guys Hexia Super Rare. We got Hey True Nade, Secret Rare. I think this is not a dollar, but it's a Secret Rare. Lee, the World Chalice Fairy. Okay, and then a World Chalice World Armor. Anything else cool? Familiar Possessed Lina's in here. Test Run, Beckham by the World Chalice. The Infinity Patriarch and Orbital Highlander. Highland Rand. Okay, nothing too insane there. Let's go back to Amazing Defenders. We still have not had a huge pull. Still looking for one. I'm hoping that it'll happen. Let's do two from the back because this this pops up too early. Amazing Defenders. R R R R Roda. We got Imperly Happiness. Rescue Ace Fire Attacker. The Arm Protector Dragon Typhlosion. And Overlay Region. That's just a super rare, unfortunately. Okay. Pearly Delicious Memory and Infernal Noble Knight Roland. Starlight Rares, we have Photon Hypernova. We're not even to the halfway point yet, so this might actually be a longer video. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Let's get some cash here. A couple of aces. Nice. Someone who's using a couple of aces with their Exodia deck the other day. Didn't work out so well. Just saying. XC's a line. Giant ball game for those giant ballpark fans. Gravity Ninja and the Abyss Dragon Sword Soul. Cool. Sword Soul, dragons cool stuff ghost from the past too it is time to show yourself let me know in the comments right now how are you doing on your pick like how's it going did you pick the right one nirvana high paladin and so far nobody's really winning that much so you can't be completely wrong crystal beast rainbow dragon that's an ultra rare we got ghost trick of delahan and the Sanctum of Parshath. I said that was a, an ultra rare. There are literally all ultra rares unless it's a ghost back to secrets 2021 mega 10 is this what does this have a pot of extravagance in it or is that 2022 no, this had Extravagance, and then 2022 had Prosperity, right? I think that's how it worked. Jabbing Panda, there's Kung Fu. We got XC's Import. Artillery Catapult Turtle. Interesting decision to have that one in here. Ooh, and a Dogmatic, a Punishment. Yeah, that's just a Secret Rare in the OCG. We call it Prismatic Secret Rare. AI, Mr. AI Land. Okay, there we go. Dogmatic Theo, the Iron Punch, and then the World Shell. Ja -ja. Okay, nothing too crazy there in front of you to do a March Fiend. So this is a nice card. I don't know if it's over a dollar, but I would guess that it's probably around a dollar because this is still usable even not in Dogmatica decks. Because I'm pretty sure Labyrinth uses that in a lot of the deck lists. So that's that's a pretty good one. Amazing Defenders, let's go. Collector Rare, can we pull something? Will it be the Pearly, the Eevee itself? Sprite's Blessing. Tribal Rivals. We have Puri Map something. We have Arm Protector Dragon Typhlosion and... Rescue Ace Monitor, another super, not too crazy there. All right, let's open a Battles of Chaos first edition pack. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Secret Rare, or Dark Magician, that'd be cool. We got a Submarine Tour Ride, Dynamorphous Shell. It'd be funny if they won with an Ultra Rare. Ghost Trick Siren, Ghost Trick or Treat. Epsilon the Magnet Warrior, Darton, and Alice Lady of Lament, another super. Okay, we're, we're kind of dry today, not pulling anything too amazing. Ghost from the Past to Second Haunting. This could change everything. Ghost Rares. I mean, higher, higher chance of pulling them, supposedly. Sandwich. We have Generator Boss Stage, and we have a Fossil Machine Skull Convoy with the Code Radier and Reptilian Lamia, just an ultra. So... I don't know who's winning right now, but you guys can check right here. It's been popping up on the screen, but now we have a little halftime. It's actually past halftime, but we were going for it anyway. Legendary Collection 2. Here we go. This is a great set. There's a lot of really, really strong cards. This could just win it for the Secret Rare section. We got Mariner. Mariner itself might actually be like two bucks. Uh, Air Hummingbird. Deformation. We've got a Evil Hero Malicious Fiend. That's a nice super rare. Then we have Fifth Hope Secret Rare. Not the craziest one, but not bad. Dark Fusion, I think this is about 350. That's pretty solid. Destiny Hero Defender, any other good commons? And that's about it, it seems. All right, well, that probably did definitely help, even though it wasn't that crazy. Next up, Tactical Masters. We had great luck the other day, but today it is waning quite a bit. We have Quick Booster. 
Farewell Labyrinth. We have not even gotten a foil out of these collector rare sets, which is pretty normal because they're so hard to pull. Imperial Iron Wall. The Nazaki, Nazaki. Valence and the Valence World Wissan. All right, that is not good. Back to the Hypernova Photon. Not feeling too good about this so far. One, two, three, four. We got to redeem ourselves. The Mental Tuner. Minyaruka, Focus Aquamir, the Tally Ho Springins, the Thunder Dragon, the Emperor, the Overlap, Bis Actor Super Producer, and Ice Jade as a ride. Okay, I know this is over a dollar actually because I've been selling a bunch of these on TCG, but still an Ice Jade card, which is not awesome. All right, so this is the last round of the third to last packs here. This is goes from the past two. Oh, wait, let's do two because I know the middle one's supposed to be the Ghost Rare. We have a Course in the Sky. Primal Dragon, Vision Hero Minimum, Minimum Ray, we got the Code Generator, and uh, Rise of the Mega Monarch, which used to be like a $70 secret from the original set. I think it was Duelist Alliance. Not anymore, because it got that reprint. Two packs left for each. We have a Dark Crisis reprint pack. Getting ready for the 25th anniversary. One, two, three, four. I think this is what you do, something like that. We have Fairy of the Spring. It's the final countdown. That's, I'm pretty sure it's two bucks. I don't think it's been reprinted. Cyber Raider, Deathrook Archfiend, the DD Trainer, Dark Scorpion Chick the Yellow, Token Thanksgiving, Legendary Flame Lord, and will we get the Exodian Necros? No, but we will get a blast held by a tribute ultra rare. And if you're looking for this first edition PSA 10, I have one for sale. Looking for it for your collection. It's originally from Dark Crisis, obviously. We just have a Dark Crisis pack, but first edition. That's a nice card. I may or may not be over a dollar and unlimited. I really don't know. But hey, an old school ultra rare pulled. We will take that. Amazing defenders. Here we go. Collector rare. Let's pull it. One, two. Can we get some? At least an ultra, please. Come on. Limited removal. So far. Oh, Rux and Special. We got the great Makanko Ceremony. The pearly happy memory. Makanko Reflection Rondo. Rajan Rondo. Makanko Ravelry. Wait, we got something. And a my friend Pearly. We'll take it. It's a pearly ultra rare. Not bad. Hey, look. We're taking anything we can get. An ultra rare, that actually might be good because I think Pearly's like kind of hyped archetype from that set. Okay, two backs left. Let's do Battles of Chaos first. See if we can get that Dark Magician for the Starlight Rare section. One, two, three, four. Let's do this. We have Dynamorphia Diplos. Whoa, Rux and Special already. Submarine Tour Ride, Dynamorphia Shell, Monster Rebirth, Darton the Mechanical Monstrosity, Ghost Trick Siren, Ghost Trick Treat. Skill Brown Magician and the Dark Contract with Patent License. Unfortunate. Okay, last Ghost from the Past pack. And that just the regular Ghost from the Past. We've already done the last Ghost from the Past too. Oh wait, let's do two. Oh wait, no. This might not work like that for Ghost from the Past. I think it just works like this. Cosmojo, Sunsheed. We have the Cypher Blade Dragon. We got that again. Metaphors, Mithrilium. And her Arctic seal of the ceremony creation or whatever it's called. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, last four packs. Here we go. We at least got something decent on that last round. Let's see if we can get... Well, actually, it was a pretty good last round with the Blast Held by a Tribute and then the Pearly. Honestly, not bad. Let's see if we can end it off with a bang. Let's get a Genzo. We have a Gust. Island Turtle. Reign of Mercy. Enchanted Javelin. Let's go Ferris Servant. Shadow of Eyes. Insect Imitation. DNA Surgery. Gravity Bind. And a Sword Hunter. Hunting with a sword, but that ain't gonna help our battle, man. All right. Tactical Masters. Joey Wheel is out here. He said he was gonna pull a collector ray out of this one. Let's do this. Tactical Masters. Seon. Quick Booster. Compulsory Evacuation Device. Bear Blocker. Pendulum Fusion. Runic Dispelling. And a Labyrinth Labyrinth. Hey, Labyrinth card. We asked for it. We received it. A lot of Labyrinth cards, actually, just not the good ones. That's actually a pretty good card, but I already have, like, a lot of copies of it, so no big deal on that one. Okay, Photon Hypernova. Your last chance to make a comeback, Starlight Rares, if you're if you're even behind, I don't even know. Manticore of Smashing, Chaos Phantasm, Gishki Necro Mirror, Bio Insect Armor, Numeron Creation, Giant Ball Game, Diabol Diabolantis, the Menacing Mantis, and Beast Joe Baldrick, that's just a comment, it's the next one, and Arctos the Twelfth. All right, Arctos the Twelfth, no craziness there. We're finishing it off with the Ghost Rare Pile. How has your team done that you picked in these four piles here, guys? Let me know in the comments. If you pick Ghost Rares, start getting hyped because it's your last chance. One, two, three. There could be a Ghost Rare and Ultimate Rare in here. Let's go. The Alpa Caribo, Car Caribou, there we go, not Caribo, <laughs> Overlay Booster, Mystic Marco Carpa Seed, Interplanetary Purpley Thorny Beast, 
Snapdragon isn't the next card. It's kind of early in these. Gorgonic Golem, it might be the very next one. And... Wait, no, maybe it is after the rare. Okay, rank down Magic Numeron Fall. Could be after this. And... Gila Gila Lancer. Okay. Anticlimactic ending there. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Mycycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.